Have you ever wondered what the MERV rating is on your air filter for your HVAC system and wondered if you have even the right filter that fits your needs? As you can see behind me, we have several different filters that you can choose from. There's different colors, different MERV ratings, and the colors actually aren't just there for looks. There's a specific reason for them. So we're going to get into the details of what those numbers mean and how you can pick the best air filter for your needs, your health needs, and your HVAC system. So let's get into it. So if you've ever changed the oil on your own vehicle, you'll know that when you go to the auto parts store, there's a plethora of oil filters. Now your air filter does the same thing as what an oil filter does. It's just for air instead of your oil. But depending on what brand of filter and what grade of filter you get based on the price point, you're going to get a different level of filtration on your oil. So the same is true with all of these air filters. So we're gonna walk you through a few of the different MERV ratings and show you what the advantages and disadvantages of each are. Okay, so to start with, what is a MERV rating? What does that even mean? Well, MERV rating stands for Minimum Efficiency Reporting Value. Now, the most common MERV ratings that we'll see if we go to a home improvement store, if we look on Amazon, are about a MERV 5 rated filter and a MERV 13 is about the highest that any home will typically have. And so to give you an idea, a MERV 5 is like kind of like one of those cheap green ones that you can see through that are just, they're not filtering a ton, but they let a lot of airflow through your furnace or your air handler. Whereas the MERV 13 is like hospital grade. It's, it's filtering out just about as much particulate as possible. It even filters out viruses like COVID-19. So MERV 13 definitely has its advantages, but the disadvantages to the two is a MERV 5, you're not gonna have as much filtration, but you're gonna have more airflow. Whereas a MERV 13, you're gonna have tons of filtration, really good quality air, but the downside is that you're gonna be restricting that blower motor because it has to push harder or pull harder through that filter and it's going to cause a lot of restriction in the system. Now, as an HVAC contractor, I've actually seen quite a bit of homes that either have too big of a filter, like too thick of a filter, or too high of a MERV rating filter, and it causes issues, and I have to come out and diagnose why the furnace is overheating, and it's just simply the filter is too restrictive. That's a very common thing, so it's something you need to keep in mind when you're picking out what type of filter you wanna put in your HVAC system. Now I want to talk to you for just a second about where I buy my filters from and that is FilterBuy. FilterBuy is a great company that sells all different sizes of air filters. In fact, 600 different sizes. So if you have an odd size air filter, you can definitely find it on FilterBuy. They have fast free shipping. They also do a 5% off if you do a subscription. So instead of having to go to the store every time you need an air filter, you can not only save 5% on your subscription, but you never have to go to the store. They're shipped directly to your doorstep. One last perk that FilterBuy does is they do a monthly giveaway of one year's worth of air filters. So check them out on Instagram at FilterBuy. Now in a future video, we're gonna talk about thickness of filters and what's the advantage of having a thicker filter. Most homes will probably have a one inch filter like this and the MERV rating is actually the same. So you can get a MERV 13 in a one inch or a five inch filter, and you can get a MERV 5 filter in the same sizes, one to five inch. The MERV rating is not affected by the thickness of the filter, but the thickness, however, determines how long of a period goes between having to replace your air filter. So again, we're gonna go into that in a future video, but we're gonna examine these four filters with different MERV ratings and show you what they all do. And our examples here are all four inch filters, but just so you know, the MERV rating is the same on a one inch filter or a four inch filter. All right, so as you can see, we've got different colors of filter and it's hard to tell just from looking at these what the MERV rating is. Now, obviously when you go into a store, you'll see labels on these that will explain what the MERV rating is. But in this particular situation, this black one is an odor eliminator. So if you have pets or if you have a, a home that was smoked in and you want to alleviate that smell over time, this is probably the filter that you're gonna wanna go with. And this guy is a MERV 8 rated filter, which 
filters out odors, pollen, dust mites, mold, and large dust particles. So that's kind of your standard grade filter with the addition of the odor eliminating aspect of it. Next, we're gonna move on to this guy. This is another standard MERV-8 filter. And basically a standard MERV-8 filter is, is basically a duplicate of this. It just doesn't have the odor eliminating properties that this guy does. So basically the four things that these two MERV-8 filters are going to filter out is pollen, dust mites, mold, and large dust particles. Now, most people use a MERV-8 filter and again, most people don't have severe asthma, but if you do have severe asthma, I would not recommend a MERV-8 filter, um, regardless of if it's the odor eliminating or the standard MERV-8. But we're gonna move on to the MERV-11 air filter here. Now, as you can see, it's got a different color to it. So the MERV-11 will filter out everything that the MERV-8 uh, filtered out. In addition, dust particles instead of just dust mites and smoke and smog. So this is like the, probably the most common one that I would recommend. Now let's talk about the MERV-13 air filter. Now again, this does everything that the MERV-8 and 11 do and also filters out bacteria and viruses. This is pretty much the ultimate filter as it's a hospital grade. So if you wanted to put this in your home, you can ensure that the quality in your home is gonna be really good but again, you have the downside of having to replace it more often and them being a little bit more expensive. Basically what it boils down to for me is what are your health concerns? If you have asthma, if you have a hard time breathing, I would definitely go with a MERV 14 filter. You're gonna have much better filtration than the others. Um, but if you're not so much uh, having problems with asthma or breathing problems, I would probably go with a MERV 11. The MERV 11 and the MERV 13 filters are going to put significantly more strain on the system. So what you could do is if you wanted to try and upgrade to an 11 filter, grab one, put it in, see if you have any problems. If not, you should be good to go. In some scenarios, you can actually adjust the fan speed and raise it up a little bit to accommodate a filter like this. So if you're having that issue, you could contact an HVAC professional and see if they could make that adjustment. So that's just my input on these filters. Um, I get asked this a lot with uh, customers, what kind of MERV rating filter should I put in? How often should I change it? Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you in determining what MERV rating filter you need for your needs. Again, this is based around your health needs and how much stress you wanna put on your HVAC system. I personally go with the MERV 11. That's the filter that I recommend the most. The MERV 8 filter is still going to deliver you a lot more filtration than the standard green fiberglass one that lets a lot of air through. So a lot of people run the, the MERV 8 filters and have no problems. So all of these filters are good options. I'm simply giving you my recommendation. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, leave it a like, and please consider subscribing to our channel. We're gonna be giving away this beautiful Jackery Explorer 1500 Pro power station at the end of the month. All you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to the channel here and check us out over on Instagram at DIY underscore HVAC underscore guy. Now, if you're interested in seeing how easy it is for you as a homeowner or a DIYer to change your filter from a one inch like this one to a four inch so that you can have longer run times and better filtration, check out this video and we're gonna show you how easy it is to make the transition and to install a cabinet that will accept a four inch filter. And in addition to all of the things I just mentioned, it's super easy to replace and it's gonna save time for you in the long run. So until next time, you guys be safe. Later.